All right, this is the stock bulb in a 2001 Mustang in the trunk. We're going to swap this out for some LEDs and hopefully significantly improve the amount of light that you're seeing here. It's actually almost looks like there's no light at all in the video. It's not quite that bad in reality, but it's pretty dark in that trunk. I mean, you can't really see in the trunk at all. All right, this is really everything that you need to set up your LEDs before you put them in the car. You're going to need some wire. I went with red and black uh, for the positive and negative that will connect to the leads on the LEDs. Um, you're going to need some lead-free solder, a razor blade to cut the silicone off of the leads on the LEDs, um, some wire snips, a helping hand, your soldering iron. I got some shrink tubing over here and my heat gun to just quickly shrink the shrink tubing around the ends of the uh, leads that we're going to connect to these wires when we're done. And I've of course got a little fan going to blow the cooking solder smoke out of our faces because you really don't want to breathe that stuff in. All right. So every three LEDs you can make a cut. So let's do that here and cut this one. You can just do it with any old household scissors. Take your razor blade. That same thing where we cut away the silicone. Clean off the excess with your fingernail. Expose the LED or the leads on these LEDs. Grab them with your alligator clamp. Once you have your leads connected, you can tug on them, they don't come off. And you can put your heat shrink tubing over it. Good solid joint. It's not the prettiest, but that's okay, we're going to hide it. Alright, now we can plug in our heat gun. And this thing is remarkable, it only takes a second to heat up. I feel it's getting hot already. Just a fancy blow dryer. And just give him a hit with the heat gun and you can watch this stuff shrink before your eyes. And that's it. your finished joint. Alright, so this is from inside the trunk where the lights are mounted behind the speakers in here. And then I wired it up into this port here. And then through this, around the amp, and then up the back of the wire harness that runs into the trunk. Alright, and this is where those wires come around the amp. 
and then I tied them into this, just wrapping it in electrical tape to hide them. And then this isn't all cleaned up yet, but you'll see I soldered on those ends onto the LED strip and then did a heat shrink and then wrapped it in black electrical tape just to hide them and that's what I'll do in here as well. You can see these are all the wires that are hanging loose and then over here is where I connected in. This is where the old bulb used to be. I just cut the old bulb off, the old bulb, and I just snipped the wires right at the base. That'll focus for you. And then stripped them. And then used those wires to connect into all these wires that I set up on the uh, LED strips. So you can see that there. And then crimped them together and heat shrinked them together and that's about it. But we'll do a little bit more cleanup and hiding of the wires here in a minute. Alright, this is after completing the cleanup of all the wires in there. Shine a light there to hopefully light it up for you. There's nine LEDs on each side of the lock there and 42 LEDs on the back side of the speakers here. This is the 42 LEDs which gives us a total of 60 LEDs in the trunk. The installation turned out pretty good. Pretty clean install. Relatively easy to do and it made a big difference. Alright, this is after installing the LEDs and this is at night, believe it or not. You can see the difference here. There's those two strips of LEDs that I installed up there. And then underneath here, the whole band of them. It runs along there. And this is about 28 and a half inches that I cut that strip to. Just made a tremendous difference in the amount of light that's in the in the trunk.